South Sudan's National Constitution Amendment Committee on April 12th handed over a proposal to the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, Paulino Wanawila, to be incorporated into the transitional constitution of the Republic of South Sudan. If adopted, the proposals will be incorporated into the agreement on the resolution of conflict in the Republic of South Sudan that was signed in August 2015. Addressing journalists after the meeting, Wanawila, Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, said he will present the bill to the Council of Ministers to pass a resolution and to send it to the Assembly. My role as the, uh, the Minister of Justice and Constitutional Affairs is, is to take the bill as it has been brought, to be domesticated, to be part and partial of our constitutional law and to be adopted by our transitional legislative assembly. But what I would like also to, to emphasize is that because of this delay, the government, the parties to the agreement has gone ahead implementing the agreement and the constitution side by side. Understanding that in case of uh, Contradiction, the agreement will prevail. The committee chairman, Gishira Kibara, said the National Constitution Amendment Committee has finished phase one of the proposals and they are immediately commencing on the amendment of the laws. He added that the committee is expected to amend laws that will facilitate proper registration of all parties. We continue being very, very hopeful uh, that the stability of this country will be secured and there will be uh, a new constitution eventually and there will be peaceful and, uh, and democratic elections uh, before the end of the transition period because part of the work that the committee is doing is to amend the Political Parties Act in order to facilitate proper registration of parties uh, and also the National Elections Act in order to facilitate peaceful, democratic and free elections. The constitutional key proposals include the establishment of collegial form of government with power sharing between the president and the first vice president, the inclusion of all political groupings into the governing process, effective power sharing between main groupings with specific ratios in the Council of Ministers and the state executives, and provisions for the permanent constitution-making process.